so this little video is going to be an update, or I'm sorry, this more like a follow-up to the video I did on ABCDE, the CD ripper um, for the command line. And I mean, what goes perfectly in concert with a ripper for the command line than a pretty awesome music player from the command line? This is CMUS. Uh, CMUS has been around for a few years, so much like ABCDE, it's probably in the repository of whatever distribution you use. Um, I'm running Debian, and sure enough, here it was. And um, back in the Windows 2000 days, I used to use a program called FUBAR, and I like this kind of has that similar feeling to it. But it's also a little bit like Vim, with the Vim commands. Start with colon, so we're going to add some music. So I'm going to go to the music folder, go to my flag folder, grab one of my uh, rabbit junk albums here so the nice thing is um, so it starts out with the up down left right being controlled over here with the, the song I mean the album an artist so you tab and that switches over here and now I can up down on these tracks you press enter and it plays you press spacebar and it adds it to a playlist and removes it from the playlist. And that's pretty much 90% of it. it. You can get really deep into this thing. So it's, it's pretty versatile. Um, plus you can add more music. Flack. Bad Witch. So I switch to Nash Nels and now I can play that songs on that thing. Yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. You can build playlists, you can load Anything that's mounted through your command line will load perfectly, whether it's through your network uh, using like a Samba share or something, or you know just locally on your hard drive. My favorite part is uh, what I'll show you next, which is pretty cool. All right, so on the phone you actually have access to CMUS in mobile wise and it works really good you just kind of get used to the controls here but everything works exactly as you expect it to which is phenomenal um, and plus it supports some formats that your phone might not nat natively support which makes it ideal so that's a little quick walkthrough through CMUS. Um, I didn't go too in depth because I'm still kind of wrapping my brain around it all. I actually used it a lot more a few years ago and I kind of stopped. Now as I'm trying to decouple from streaming services, now it's time to get back in touch with uh, the power of local storage. So that's it for this week. See you guys.